I wanted to talk about how to fit your side pull fitless bridle and put it on your horse. And I've got my horse here, Mercury, who is my favorite, favorite boy. He's going to help me show you how to put it on and then fit it in the proper adjustments in a couple of different ways. So what I like to do, whether I'm bridling with bitless or with a side pull with no bit, is I really like my horse to volunteer and be receptive to the bridling process. So what I want is to step up here and I want my horse to actually, if I can, I teach them to offer to have the bridle put on. I see he's looking away, so now he's here. So what happens if I open this up? Oh, wouldn't you like that? See? So he's putting his head in the bridle for me, which is what I teach them, which means that he's very, very willing. We put the right ear in first, and I'm always very gentle about this process. I put the left ear in then, and then I've got my bridle on. Now, when I feel like my horse will put their head in the, in the bridle or in the halter or in the bitless bridle side pull, then I feel like the horse is in a very willing state of mind about it. You'll notice that I waited for him to actually bring his head back to me because then he was sort of saying he's ready to have it on. And if he didn't, I might have made a little clucking noise to have him get his attention focused on me. All right. So you can see now that this particular side pull, this is my buckaroo leather side pull with a wide leather nose band. It's actually adjusted out very, very large right now. It's too low on his face. And I put it on loose purposely to start with so I can easily put it on my horse and I can easily adjust it up to where and I want. I want you to actually recognize this because I've seen this incorrectly done on a lot of hackamores and, and bridles that use no bit because obviously a lot of the pressure is distributed through this nose strap. This is way too low, okay? This is pressing right on his nasal passages and what will happen is when your horse has the nose pressure there, it's, he's going to start sneezing, flipping, and shaking his head a lot. So if you put that on and you notice that all of a sudden he starts blowing a lot and, and sneezing and then and when you add a little pressure he flips, that could be a sign that you've got it too low and it's pressing on the sensitive um, area of his nose. Okay. So what we're going to do is we have a couple of options based on your horse's facial conformation. Now not a lot of people think about a horse's facial conformation. But what I wanted to show is, is that this particular horse is quite narrow through his lower area below his cheeks, and that means right here and here. He's quite narrow, and he doesn't have a super prominent cheekbone. Some horses which would have really prominent cheekbones and might be a, um, a little bit more wide through here, our horses, like quarter horses, have quite a, quite a prominent gel sometimes, um, some Arab. Uh, some draft type crosses, uh, some other types of worm blood. So I want to set my horse to his individual um, conformation. So in his case, on this one I have a gel strap here. This is a gel strap is a secondary strap on your side pull, which actually stabilizes the side pull from doing this when you pull the rein. Okay, so that's another thing that could irritate your horse. All right. So some side pulls have a throat latch, which is fine, but I do like to have this second one, which to me makes it much more stable than if it didn't have it. Okay. So what I want to do is I have two options here. On this particular side pull, I have a buckle on each side of his face. I personally like to have the same hole number on each side. So right now it's on three, and I'm going to go up two holes here, and then I'm going to walk around to this side. It's on three on this side and I'm going to go up two holes on this side and then see what, a, what it looks like. Okay. So to me, now I've got the gel strap here. I'm going to check where that gel strap is falling first. Okay. So when I buckle my gel strap, it's going to fall right about in front of his cheek. Now this is on the low side, the lowest probable adjustment that I would do. And again, that depends on your horse, whether or not that's going to irritate him or not, but this is a little on the low side. 
So I've adjusted this up to where I feel like it fits him best, which is you can see that this ring is just past his cheekbone, which is right there. And the nose band is somewhat high on his face. And that's why I don't want to give you any kind of measurements like two or three fingers or whatever, because some horses are long from here to here. Some horses are real short from here to here. So really, you need to use your own judgment about where that's going to fall. But the, the thing I'm looking for is mostly not to have it pressing in his nasal passages right here. Okay. So when I buckle the jowl strap, this to me is the most important strap for the stability. So I can get pretty snug with this piece. And I want to be able to just about get two fingers in there. So right about here, I can get two fingers in my jowl strap. And you can see that it's sort of falling right here in a little bit on his, on his cheek, but, but a little bit in front as well. Um, this second strap here, which is a chin strap, I don't need it to be as tight as the gel strap. It's not as important. Um, this is the one that's going to keep my side pull stable. But this one, you can see I can probably get about three fingers in here. This is more of a preference thing to me. I really don't like my, my chin straps tight. I don't need my horse's mouth closed. I want him to be able to move his jaw if he wants to. So to me, two or three fingers or even four fingers, depending on the horse, is fine. And I'm really more focused on this strap right here. Uh, the other thing that I look at is this strap right here, which is actually a stabilizing strap on this. You'll notice there are two right here. So this one, I like to see, make sure that this one is kind of pointing straight through here. See, this one goes at an angle. But if you look at this, this one sort of goes straight down. It's almost in line perfectly with his face. So it's straight on the um, strap here. It's in line with this strap as well. So that lets me know that this fits his nose circumference pretty well. So really the straps I'm most concerned with are these and these for the stability. So these two straps are my most important straps to me as far as the fit, that they fit the way that they're supposed to. So what I want to address now is this strap to me is what dictates how flat this lays or where this is on my horse's face. So this one, I actually just adjust if I can where it's needed on the horse. This one is movable. You'll find that it's movable also on the rope one. And so really you don't need to be too worried about this one unless you find that this strap is not laying well on your, on your side pole. So basically, that's about how I adjust my side pulls on. And that's what you're looking for. Your main concerns, again, are that it's really not too low on your horse's face. And watching out, you can actually feel with your fingers here for those um, delicate sinus passages. And remember that if your horse is feeling a little bit uncomfortable, he might exhibit things like uh, flipping his head or sneezing or shaking his head. So work with your individual horse, fit him to him, and work with what his comfort is. Let him tell you what's going on. If he seems like he's uncomfortable, look at your adjustments and see if you can get them to work better for that particular horse.